All right, good morning. Getting ready to head over to the aluminum shop, weld shop to uh, mount my tanks. And uh, get all that done. So when I get there, I'll be uh, I'll be filming the whole thing. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay. That's one of the cross members that's going to attach to the uh, floor joist underneath and give me a nice strong mounting surface for the tanks. They're going to go. Up and over the axles. And the tanks will hang down right about even with the axles. There's my vent drain pipe for that side. And there's my, my toilet and my vent for the other one. Alright, I'll be back. Noriega died here in the prison. Yeah. He sure did. He did, he did, yeah. He did, yeah. I was a motherfucker, you know. Capping the ends of the uh, of the tubing, square tubing, which will prevent you know water from getting up in there, and uh, you know winter time water gets up in there, freezes, you know, so it's better to cap them off. And this is the tank mounts. See how the tank sits in there. Plenty of clearance. There'll be a, a bar going across the top and across the bottom. And these are my uh, these are my tank monitoring attachments. That's one. the other one. Yeah. And we got the trailer. Trailer here. Okay. These are the brackets that mount underneath to the frame. And then the tank mounts will mount to these. Get them mounted up, screw them in, drill them in, bolt them in, 
I'll be back. And these will attach to the beams we put underneath. And there'll be a, uh, a bar that goes this way underneath the tanks to give them stability underneath. Okay, they'll attach right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, heading home from the aluminum welding shop. We didn't quite get it all done, but uh, everything is pretty much ready to go. Got to pick up a few more bolts. Uh, drill a few more holes. But uh, for the most part, it's all done. Uh, get them mounted up Monday going to work on my uh, gaskets that are, well, it's that PVC board that the tanks are actually going to rest on. They're not going to uh, rest right on the aluminum. It's going to rest on PVC board, so I'm gonna, I got to line the inside of the, uh, line the inside of it. Should be fine. So, all right. I'll see you soon. Okay, there's my black water tanks sitting in their cradles. Um, these holes are for tank clean outs. Got them on both sides. And what you do is you drill a hole in the side of your tank and you glue and screw a, uh, uh, a fitting on there and uh, you hook it to a hose. You can hook them both together and, and then when you turn the water on, it sprays water into your, into your tanks to help clean them out and flush them out. So I drilled one on each side because I'm not sure which side I'm going to uh, install the uh, tank clean outs. So originally I was just going to do them in the back of the uh, of the brackets, but I think I'm going to do it from the sides, and I'll probably do it right here where I can put one there, put one there, and then just put a T right in the middle. And uh, that, should, uh, that should do me good. I'll show you those devices when I install them. Um, here's the trailer. Here's where we, here's where we ran into an issue. We didn't have, uh, we didn't have the, uh, 
We needed some. We needed some two inch. We needed some two inch. Uh, two inch bolts. For these. And what these are. These go. Oh, I'm going to put the phone down for a second. Those go underneath and give the tank support from underneath. Okay, and there will be, again, there'll be a piece of uh, PVC This is PVC board. It's basically plastic. Okay. Let me set the phone down again. Okay. okay. So, you kind of get the idea of what's going on there. I got it upside down, but uh, the... Uh, and of course it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be this wide it only needs to be on just on top of that one inch and uh this way when the tank is riding on it and i may leave it i even may i may leave it that wide just give it more surface to to ride on but uh it's uh and then of course down in here now this weekend i'm going to go ahead and install these these plastic boards so that uh, when we mount them up there on Monday, they, uh, they should be good to go. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to, uh, today's Friday, uh, this weekend, I am going to finish um, putting the plywood on the walls, okay, the Luan. And uh, over there, and I have this short wall, and then I'm going to do the bathroom walls, and then of course, um, the material I have for the bathroom is uh, is the PVC, basically PVC plywood, and I'm going to do, you know, a nice wide piece here, probably out to there. Um, this way if it gets wet, it's just plastic and then from there over I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do. I, I Like the combination of the wood, but in the wood in the middle of the wall probably wouldn't look good. But anyway, it doesn't matter um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the plywood up. The plywood's got to go up first and uh, It is just solid as a rock man um I will be, I will be hitting these walls with a, you know, with a fine grit uh, sandpaper. Not because they're not already smooth, but just, you know, like where my brad nails went in, you know, it's just gonna, you know, make the surface. It's gonna make the surface a, uh, you know, just perfect. I mean, nothing wrong with having a perfect surface. Um, Anyway, uh, I'm pretty burnt. I've been up since 3.30 this morning. Uh, I was over at the aluminum shop at uh, 6.30 or quarter to 7. And uh, so I'm not going to start anything right now. It's, uh, it's uh, I don't know, it's about 3 o'clock now, 3.30. I don't even know what time it is. But uh, uh, I just wanted to, wanted to show you the the tank mounts and uh, I can't wait till they're plumbed in man and uh, 
and I can take a poop in. Let's see. Actually, this will be the poop tank. <laughs> Not that it matters. And this is for the gray water. Gray water is basically water that's like the shower, kitchen sink, vanity. It's just water. It may have some soap in it. Um, your black water is, you know, poop, uh, pee, toilet paper, and that sort of thing. So, uh, this drain here is a three inch, but I've got a, uh, and don't ask me to find it now, but I have a reducer that reduces that down to an inch and a half. And the, the spout on it is at the bottom. So this will drain real nice. And, um, these are each 45 gallons. So that's 90 gallons of, uh, you know, wastewater that we'll have so all right let me get these put away and uh i'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow um comments are welcome likes are always appreciated and you know if you don't like it well you know i don't know what to tell you uh it's just a it's a video it's a it's a, a video log of what i'm doing <sighs> building our rv um and uh I made a comment on Facebook yesterday on the uh, video that I posted that, uh, you know, this has been, this has been awesome therapy, awesome therapy. And, uh, it's certainly keeping my mind busy, keeping me out of trouble. But anyway, all right, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.